do you need to be a champion? Desire, determination, dedication, concentration, and the will to win it. With that spirit, the country's best six spellers are ready to compete for the title of Spelling Bee Season 3 Champion Spellers. Hello and welcome to the grand finale of the third season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee powered by Holix brought to you by champs21.com in association with BSRM, MetLife Alico and Faber Castle. I'm Ramana Malik Munmun. We'll take you through this exciting grand finale which we are going to experience in a moment. Shamanita Shruti Brindu. আজকে যে ছজন ফাইনালিস্ট এই টাইটেলের জন্য লড়বে তাদের এই লম্বা একটা জার্নি তারা পেরিয়ে এসেছে এবং আজকে আমরা জানতে পারবো কে হতে যাচ্ছে আমাদের স্পেলিং দি সিজন থ্রি এর চ্যাম্পিয়ন স্পেলার যার জন্য অপেক্ষা করছে কর্চিয়াস একটা ট্রফি এবং সেই সাথে ওয়াশিংটন ডিসিতে একজন অভিভাবক সহ ভ্রমণের সুযোগ ও পাঁচ লক্ষ টাকার ম্যাথ লাইফ আলিকো শিক্ষা বিমা আমাদের আজকের এই ছজন ফাইনালিস্ট গ্র্যান্ড ফিনালে পর্যন্ত এসেছে তবে তাদের এই লম্বা জার্নিটা খুব একটা সহজ ছিল না অ্যান্ড দ্য সিকিওর দেয়ার পজিশনস আউট অফ টু ল্যাক সেভেন্টি থ্রি থাউজেন্ড নাইন হান্ড্রেড অ্যান্ড নাইনটি টু স্পেলার্স সো আই থিঙ্ক উই শুড গিভ আওয়ার সিক্স ফাইনালিস্ট হিউজ রান অফ প্লস ফর কামিং আপ টু দিস লেভেল Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to invite Mr. Russell T. Ahmed, CEO of Champs21.com to come up on stage and deliver his welcome note. Please welcome Mr. Russell T. Ahmed. Today, I am the first time of the day. 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 Welcome to the grand finale. In this three season, Spelling Bee has witnessed almost 600,000 spellers from the whole nation. And importantly, all these 600,000 students came from 3,000 plus schools. We mean the teachers of all these 3,000 schools. Jar karone, ami aajke shahosh kore third season ek aathata bolti pari, je itar goodbye Spelling Bee takes er andolon nai. E andolon ta hoye gaye thay সফল একটা বাংলাদেশ গড়ার আন্দোলন ভালো মানুষ গড়ার আন্দোলন এই ছয় লক্ষ স্পেলার্স এই ছয় লক্ষ স্পেলার্সদের প্যারেন্টস তিন হাজারের অধিক স্কুলের টিচারদের জন্য একটা করতালি দিয়ে তাদেরকে উৎসাহিত করি তারা যেন একটা সফল বাংলাদেশ তৈরি করতে পারে আমার আগাম কংগ্রেচুলেশনস রইল চ্যাম্পিয়নের জন্য ধন্যবাদ সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ Ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to request Mr. Iqbal Ahmed Menon, Category Manager, GSK Consumer Healthcare, to come up on stage and say a few words. Please welcome Mr. Iqbal Ahmed Menon. Hello, champions. The brand Horlix is really, uh, we are proud to be associated with this great uh, program. We are expecting that in coming days, we'll be continuing this same kind of uh, um, cooperation with this uh, beautiful journey. So with this, I would like to conclude my uh, speech in here and all the best. And I'm really, really eager to see what is going, who is going to be the final in here. And all the best, all the very best to all of you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Mahfuz Anam, editor and publisher of The Daily Star, to come up on stage and share his views. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mahfuz Anam. সমস্ত স্পেলারদেরকে আন্তরিক অভিনন্দন দেশ গড়তে হলে সবচেয়ে গুরুত্বপূর্ণ জিনিস কি আমার দৃষ্টিতে সবচেয়ে বড় গুরুত্বপূর্ণ উন্নতি হচ্ছে শিক্ষা শিক্ষাটাকে যদি আনন্দময় করা যায় ওটাকে যদি প্রতিযোগিতার মাধ্যমে আনা যায় ওটা যদি একটা খেলার মাধ্যম করা যায় এবং নিজের অজান্তেই অনেক কিছু আমরা শিক্ষা নিয়ে ফেলি আমরা জানতে পারি তো সেটাই হচ্ছে স্পেলিং বি আসুন আমরা সবাই মিলে স্পেলিং বির মাধ্যমেই আমরা দেশ গড়ার সব ভবিষ্যতের নেতৃবৃন্দকে সৃষ্টি করি অনেক অনেক ধন্যবাদ সবাই Ladies and gentlemen, we are really honored to have amongst us our Honorable Minister for Education, Mr. Nurul Islam Nahid MP. Sir, I'll kindly request you to say something on this initiative. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together as I welcome our Honorable Minister. Thank you very much for your support and for your support. 
যোগদান করবার সুযোগ দেওয়া হয়েছে সবচেয়ে আনন্দের কথা আমাদের নতুন প্রজন্মের এই শিক্ষার্থীরা যারা হবে ভবিষ্যতের আধুনিক বাংলাদেশের নির্মাতা তাদেরকে আমি অভিনন্দন জানাচ্ছি তিন লক্ষকেই আমি শ্রেষ্ঠ বলবো অংশগ্রহণ করার মধ্যেই একটা শ্রেষ্ঠত্ব আছে আর যে ছয়জন আজকে এখানে প্রতিযোগিতায় নেবেন তাদেরকে আমি আন্তরিক অভিনন্দন জানাই আমি ধরেই নিচ্ছি যে ছয়জনই প্রথম হয়েছেন তার মধ্যেও তো একজন ফার্স্ট এবং দি ইকুয়েলস তাকে আমরা বাসাই করে নিব আমি সবাইকে প্রথম জনকে এবং ছয় জনকে এবং ছিয়ানব্বই জনকে এবং তিন লক্ষ জনকে আন্তরিক অভিনন্দন জানাচ্ছি তাদের সাফল্য কামনা করছি এবং তাদের ভবিষ্যৎ উজ্জ্বল হোক তারা দেশের গড়ে তুলবার ক্ষেত্রে নেতৃত্ব দেওয়ার ক্ষেত্রে নিজেদেরকে এগিয়ে নিয়ে যাক ধন্যবাদ মাহফুজ আনাম ধন্যবাদ ডেইলি স্টার এবং সবাইকে competition but before that let's get introduced to our six finalist our first finalist is a girl she likes baking and wants to be a genetic engineer let's find out who she is ডিভিশন রাউন্ড আর প্রিলিমিনারির জন্য আমার প্রিপারেশন খুব একটা ভালো ছিল না কিন্তু এখন ফাইনালের জন্য বেশি করে প্রিপারেশন নিচ্ছি যেন পারি আর কি শি হ্যাজ অলওয়েজ বিন অ্যান এক্সেলেন্ট স্টুডেন্ট সবসময় টপ মার্কস পেয়ে এসছে অ্যান্ড নট অনলি অ্যাজ এ স্টুডেন্ট অ্যাজ এ হিউম্যান বিং অলসো আই ফাউন্ড আর এক্সট্রিমলি হেল্পফুল কাইন্ড সবার বন্ধু বান্ধবের সঙ্গে ইনফ্যাক্ট টিচারদের সঙ্গেও শি হ্যাজ অলওয়েজ বিন হেল্পফুল সেকেন্ড আর থার্ড প্লেস সিনস ফাইন বাট অবভিয়াসলি মাই আইজ আর সেট অন দ্য ট্রফি যেসব ছাড়া যে বাচ্চা সেটা সব বাবা মাই চায় তার বাচ্চাটা জিতুক সে আমি অবশ্যই চাই কিন্তু আমি সবসময় বলি নাই রিন যেটুকু আসো এতেই আমি অনেক খুশি তুমি আমার কাছে এতেই চ্যাম্পিয়ন আর যদি হও তাতে তো খুবই ভালো আমার অ্যাডভাইস হবে মাথা ঠান্ডা রাখো নার্ভাস হয়ে মা কারণ ও যদি নার্ভাস না হয় তাহলে ও আমার মতে ভালো করবে Welcome Nayarin. Ready for the competition? Yes. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Moving on. Our second finalist for this grand finale is representing Silet and he's the only participant outside Dhaka. Ladies and gentlemen, his will power is undoubtedly so strong that keeps him coming to spelling before the last 3 years. Let's find out who it is. Holding the nerves. কে কত সাহস রাখতে পারে কে কত কনফিডেন্ট থাকতে পারে যে সবচেয়ে বেশি কনফিডেন্ট সে এখানে কোয়ালিফাই করে নেক্সট রাউন্ডে ব্যুরোক্র্যাট বি ইউ আর ই এ ইউ সি আর এ টি ব্যুরোক্র্যাট দ্যাট ইজ करेक्ट এবার আই জাস্ট ওয়ান্ট টু গিভ মাই বেস্ট শট অরখো কোয়ালিফাইড ফর গ্র্যান্ড ফিনালে উইথ 75 পয়েন্টস কনগ্রাচুলেশনস আমার মতে সাইফ যেহেতু এবার দুইবার আসছে সাইফের এবার ট্রফিটা নেওয়ার চান্স খুব বেশি তো সাইফ হবে আমার জন্য স্ট্রংয়েস্ট কম্পিটিটার ওর ঘর যে মেধা বা স্ট্রেজ দি তিরতা সেটা বজায় রাখতে পারে 
তাহলে সে চ্যাম্পিয়ন হবে আমি এটা বিশ্বাস করি ফ্রেন্ডসরা তো সবাই বলে দিয়েছে বেস্ট অফ লাক সবাই উইশ করেছে যে আমি যেন মানে ট্রফিটা উইন করতে পারি এবং সবার একই ইচ্ছা টিচাররা অনেক এক্সপেক্ট করছে এবার দাদা আমি চাই তুমি চ্যাম্পিয়ন হও বেস্ট অফ লাক প্রেস এন্ড চ্যাম্পিয়ন প্লিজ ওয়েলকাম অল ফর অল স্টুডেন্ট অফ আনন্দ নিকেতন রিপ্রেজেন্টিং সিলেক্ট ওয়েলকাম অল ফর Moving on, our third finalist who wants to be a cardiologist. Let's take a look who is this future doctor. Get set, ready, go, 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 go. O R C H E S T R A T E orchestrate. That is correct. I marked the goal to the Hammy final super trophy. It will be mine. এখন আমি সো ক্লোজ টু দ্যাট অ্যান্ড ইট ফিলস অ্যামেজিং ট্রফিটা আমার মেয়ে হাতে নিয়ে আছে ওই স্বপ্নটা আমি দেখেছি আমার মেয়ের মধ্যে আমি ঢুকিয়ে দিয়েছে এবং যখন ও হাতে নেবে তো ওই অনুভূতি তো অনেক বড় আনন্দের হবে প্রতিটা ক্লাসে যদি একটা টিচারকে বলেন হাসিদকে ভালো ছাত্র বলেন ভালো মানুষ বলেন ভালো সামাজিক দায়বদ্ধতার মানুষ বলেন সেটা হাসে জুনিয়র সেকশনে ওকে আমি একটা স্পেশাল টিচারের মর্যাদা দিব যে কিভাবে স্পেলিং বি শিখতে হয় এবং কিভাবে শিখাতে হয় দ্য মেইন ওয়ার্ড ইজ ফায়ার গার্ড এফ আই আর ই জি ইউ এ আর ডি ফায়ার গার্ড রিং এ সেমিফাইনালসে আমি আমার নিজের পারফরম্যান্সে একটু শকড হয়েছিলাম বিকজ যে মেইন ওয়ার্ডটা আই ক্র্যাক দ্যাট ফার্স্ট টে জি ই এ আর গিয়ার জাস্ট ফর দ্য ম্যাক্সিমাম পয়েন্ট অফ দিস রাউন্ড হাসেন উইথ 105 পয়েন্টস ইউ আর গোইং ফর দ্য গ্র্যান্ড ফিনালে Congratulations lots of love to her and we wish her all the very best and I'm sure she is going to rock it Putte contestant bhalo group seta chai kintu tar poro amar mer puti amar bokkho eto onek beshi Bubu ami dua kori je tumi champion ho Ladies and gentlemen please welcome Hasin Hasnain student of Hartko International School Welcome Hasin. Moving on. Our next finalist is not only a good speller but also a sports enthusiast. Let's meet our next finalist. It's Wasit with 95 points joining us for the grand finale. It's an amazing feeling being in the finals because uh, the last two seasons I couldn't make it that far so I dreamt about it about how it'd be like to be up there with the other finalists and it's amazing. I mean, shop shop encourage korechi and ja korar baki ta oi koreche. That's Wasik. Is it clarify C L A R Y R I F Y? Clarify. 10 points. Very good. Ottonto bhodro shanto lokkhi ekta chhele. Okay, amra shotti shotti khub proud ebong anondito. B R I O C H E Briosh. That is correct. Wow. That's like a champion. A crackling star I should say. Very well done. Ajker first playoff theke amra peye gechi amader ponchom finalist ke and it is Wasik from Mercury School Dhaka. Congratulations. Ma hisebe ami to chaibo amar chhele akash ta chuiye feluk. Tobe ekta kotha pata jeno matitei thakbe. Now I'm really hoping that I can just put up my best performance at the finals and hopefully just tip over the scales enough in my favor to win that. Best of luck, Mr. Nadu. Nadu the mind. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Wasik Hasan, student of Mary Curie School, Dhaka. Welcome. Thank you. All right. Moving on. Our next finalist is the only contestant who is from a Bangla medium school and besides being a good speller she also showed her interest in language and literature let's find out who she is Ami Aisha ke niye onek beshi proud ami oke bolechhilam competition e participate korte ekhon o khan theke final e giyeche ami onek beshi happy যখন সে পড়তে শিখলো তখন দেখতাম যে পুতুলের চেয়ে বইয়ের দিকে ওর আগ্রহটা বেশি এ আর ডি ইউ ও ইউ এস আর ডি এস দ্যাট ইজ करेक्ट আমি আসলে পুরো ব্যাপারটাকে খুব এনজয় করেছি আমার মনে হয় এর জন্য এর জন্য এটার জন্য আমি হয়তো এত দূরে গেলতে পেরেছি আমার পুরো জিনিসটাই খুব মজার লেগেছে এ ইউ এস টি ই আর ই অস্টিয়ার দ্যাট ইজ करेक्ट ওয়েল প্লেড আমার আপুকে টিভিতে দেখা এক জিনিসটা একটু 
অ্যাডভেঞ্চারাস আর এক্সাইটিং ছিল ক্লাস এইটে যে ক্লাস টিচার তিনি আমাকে ডেকে নিয়ে তার ক্লাসের সামনে দেখেছেন বলেছিল যে তোমরা একে দেখো তোমাদের তোমরা ওর মতো হওয়ার চেষ্টা করবে এগুলো আসলেই অনেক বড় একটা পাওয়া আমার জন্য N E C T A R nectar That is correct. Yes, she is always uh, very much studious, very much serious, it sincere about I everything and creation. 40 points from this round. Very good. We hope that she will be the winner and be the champion in spelling bee. And it is in the new I show with 105 points. Going to join us for the grand finale. ওই প্রথম কোন প্রতিযোগিতায় অংশগ্রহণ করেছে এত দূর এসেছে কনসিকিউটিভ grand finalist of the last two seasons because he was with us in the season 2 and now again he is here and we are proud to say yes indeed he is back in action let's take a look get set ready go 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 we got our sai from rajin college who is joining us for the grand finale it's great to get a second chance cuz last year I was slightly disappointed with my uh, performance in the finals and You know it feels great to get another chance at this end. Chota bala ekta probondhe porechhilam je Bangali Asha Gogun Jungi. Ami to Bangali plus ami mor baba. Ate I expect the best. O M I N O U S Aminus. That is correct. Definitely confidence bere che stage presence vocabulary shop bere che including English proficiency and things like that it's helped me in school and other places. He is a very intelligent person and a very witty person at that. I think in last few days he can work a bit more harder and maybe computer game side to come khele put in a bit more effort I think inshallah this year he might be able to win it this time so I'm the champion of the bay definitely I'll be very happy I'll be very happy that I'm representing my school I'm making my parents proud I'll be very grateful to Allah definitely I'm just going to be tremendously happy right that I can't really think about anything else maybe I'll jump maybe I won't maybe my dad will faint maybe he won't <laughs> We'll think about that later. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our six finalists for today's grand finale. Sai Rahman, student of Regin College, Dhaka. <laughs> welcome Sai. Good to see you all. The stage is set. The spellers are ready. Someone is missing, right? Yes, yes it is our official pronouncer, Mr. Zunaid Rabbani. Let's welcome him on stage, please. Hello Mr. Zanadabani, how are you? Uh, it's a mixed feelings. I'm sad that it's all coming to an end. But at the same time, I'm happy that we're going to find our champion speller. All right, yes, and we all are waiting for that moment. All right, it's time to start the competition of the grand finale. All the very best to six of you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start our first round, which is spell it. All right, in first round, our pronouncer will ask you to spell four words. You will get 20 seconds to start the spelling. He'll give you three clues, the meaning of the word, Bangla meaning, and parts of speech. All right, you all know the rules, so take a deep breath, and we are about to start the first round of the grand finale. All the very best. We'll start with you, Saif. Saif, the first word for you is signet. Signet. Signet, and it means a young swan. এর বাংলা অর্থ হচ্ছে বাচ্চা রাজহাঁস and the word is a noun signet the word is signet s i g n e t t e signet i'm sorry sai if that is not correct the correct spelling is c y g n e t signet the second word for you is mikadam mikadam and it means broken stones used in compacted layers for surfacing roads and paths the word is mikadam uh M E C H A D U M Macadam I'm sorry sorry if that is not correct the correct spelling is M A C A D A M Macadam Moving on for the third word The third word for you is tumultuous and it means 
making an uproar or loud, confused noise. Tumultuous. Tumultuous or tumultuous? Please start. T U M U L T U O U S, tumultuous. That is correct. Well, there you go. Very good. 10 points for you. The final word for you is elimocenary. Elimocenary, and it means charitable. E L E E M O S Y N A R Y, elimocenary. That is also correct. Wonderful, wonderful. I think, Mrs. Unai, you should have asked him more complicated words, and I'm sure Next you could have earned 40 points at this round. But very well played, Saif. Moving on to our next contestant, Aisha. Ready? All the very best. Aisha, the first word for you is rhyme star. Rhyme star, and it means a person who composes short poems with corresponding sounds. The word is rhyme star. R H Y M E S T E R. Rhyme star. That is correct. Very good start, Aisha. Ten points. The second word for you is incognito. Incognito, and it means a way that prevents other people from finding out who you are. The word is incognito. Incognito. I N C O G N I T O. Incognito. That is also correct. Two on two. The third word for you is deity. Deity, and it means a god or goddess, especially in a polytheistic religion. The word is deity. Parts of speech. It is a noun. D E I T Y, deity. That is correct. Whoa. Three on a row, very good. The final word for you is Brobdingnagian. Brobdingnagian, and it means very large or gigantic. The word is Brobdingnagian. B R O B D I N G N A G I A N. Brobdingnagian. That is correct. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a 14 letter word. She deserves a huge round of applause. Wonderful, Aisha. 40 points from this round. Very well played. Moving on to Wasik. Wasik, Aisha already got the benchmark. Are you ready to go for it? Good yeah. luck. Wasik, the first word for you is knavery. Knavery, and it means the act of a dishonest or unscrupulous man. The word is Navery. K N A V E R Y. Navery. That is correct. Good start, was it? The second word for you is proletariat. Proletariat, and it means workers or working class people. The word is proletariat. Proletariat. Proletariat is the word. P R O L I T A R I A T. Proletariat. Wasak, you came very close. But that is not correct. The correct spelling is P R O L E T A R I A T, proletariat. Wasak, the third word for you is myriad. Myriad, and it means countless or extremely great in number. The word is myriad. M Y R I A D, myriad. That is correct. There you are, 10 more points. The final word for you, Wasik, is hearse. Hearse, and it means a vehicle for conveying the coffin at a funeral. Hearse. Hearse is the word. H-E-A-R-S-E, -E, hearse. That is correct. Wow, well, impressive performance. 30 points from this round, very well played, Wasik. Moving on to Haseen, good luck. Haseen, the first word for you is pedestrian. Pedestrian, and it means a person walking rather than traveling in a vehicle. P E D E S T R I A N, pedestrian. That is correct. Well played, Haseen, but you have got time, don't rush, all right? Take your time. The second word for you is schooner. Schooner, and it means a sailing ship with two or more masts. The word is schooner. Is it S C H O O N E R, schooner? That is correct. Beautiful. 20 points. Hassan, the third word for you is rigmarole. Rigmarole, and it means a long rambling story. 
Is it R I G M A R O L Y Rigmarole? That is correct. All right, we can see Hassan a little confused while spelling it, but you made it. Well done. The final word for you is dossier. Dossier. Dossier, and it means a collection of documents about a person or a subject. The word is dossier. The parts of speech? It is a noun. Um, the Bangla meaning? Kono ghatonar tottho song boli to dolil ba kagoj potro. Okay, is it D-O-C-I-A-Y dossier? I'm sorry, Hassan, that is not correct. The correct spelling is D-O-S-S-I-E-R dossier. Yeah. Spellers, once again, you have to start spelling within 20 seconds. Okay? All right, but well played, Hassan. 30 points from this round. Okay, uh, now it's Orgho. Orgho, ready for it. All the best. Orgho? The first word for you is Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Pharaoh, and it means a ruler in ancient Egypt. Okay. P H A R A O H, Pharaoh. That is correct. Argo, 10 points on your scoreboard. The second word for you is Tarantella. Tarantella? Tarantella. It means a rapid, whirling Italian dance. T A R A N T A L A, Tarantella. I'm sorry, that is wrong. The correct spelling is T-A-R-A-N-T-E-L-L-A, -L -L -A, Tarantula. All right, take your time. You can do it, all right? Two more words to go. All the best. The third word for you is shenanigans. Shenanigans? Shenanigans is a word, and it means secret or dishonest activity. S-H-E-N-A-N-I-G-A-N-S, shenanigans. That is correct. Brilliant. Ten more points. Or the final word for you is conoscenti, alternately pronounced as conoscenti, and it means people who are especially well informed about a particular subject. C O N N O I S E N T I, conoscenti. Or go close but not correct. The correct spelling is C O G N O S C E N T I, conoscenti, or conoscenti. Not a bad one, 20 points from this round. Well tried, Orgo. And now it's time for our last finalist. Are you ready, Nayarin? Beautiful. Let's start with you. Nayarin, the first word for you is heirloom. Heirloom, and it means a valuable object that has belonged to a family for several generations. The word is heirloom. H-E-I-R-L-O-O-M, heirloom. That is correct. On the mark. Very good. Ten points. The second word for you is Epelian. Epelian, and it means a narrative poem resembling an epic, but of shorter extent. The word is Epelian. E-P-Y-L-L-I-O-N, Epelian. That is also correct. Whoa. Very good. Two on two. The third word for you is Diarnal. Diurnal is a word and it means off or during the daytime. The word is diurnal. D I U R N A L, diurnal. That is correct. Impressive, very good. Now, can you make it four on four? All the best. The final word for you, Nayarin, is razzmatazz. Razzmatazz, and it means noisy, showy, and exciting activity and display. The word is razzmatazz. R H A S M A T A S S E, Rasmatas. I'm sorry, Nayarin, that is wrong. The correct spelling is R A Z Z M A T A Z Z or R A Z Z A M A T A Z Z. Rasmatas is the word. All right, very well played. You got your 30 points from this round. And that brings us to the end of our first round. Viewers, we want to know Spellchamp's Android app that you can download in English and in English, you can use it 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 in English. Thank you very, very much. And now it's time for a short Horlix break. We have two more exciting rounds on the other side of the break, so I'm sure you won't go anywhere. Stay tuned. After the break, 
Vivek, you're watching the grand finale of the third season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee, powered by Horlicks, brought to you by Champs21.com in association with BSRM, MetLife Alico and Faber Castle. বিরতিতে যাওয়ার আগে আমরা আমাদের কম্পিটিশনের প্রথম রাউন্ড শেষ করে গিয়েছিলাম এবার স্কোর দেখার পালা তবে তার আগে আরও একবার মনে করিয়ে দিই আমাদের চ্যাম্পিয়ন স্পেলারের জন্য কি অপেক্ষা করছে আমাদের চ্যাম্পিয়ন স্পেলারের জন্য অপেক্ষা করছে এই গর্জিয়াস ট্রফি সেই সাথে ওয়াশিংটন ডিসিতে একজন অভিভাবক সহ ভ্রমণের সুযোগ ও পাঁচ লক্ষ টাকার ম্যাথ লাইফ আলিকো শিক্ষা বিমা চলুন এবার চোখ বলি নেই আমাদের পার্টিসিপেন্টসের স্কোরসের দিকে Aisha leading with 40 points. Very well done. Wasik at 30 points. Hasin is also at 30 points. Orgo at 20 points. Nayarin at 30 points. All right, it's time to start our second round, which is Spell Hive. You all know the rules, but still, we'll just uh, do a recap. In Spell Hive, you'll have to crack five words. The first word is a four-letter word. As you go down the hive, you'll have to add one more letter. Now, we'll give you a clue, which is the first letter of the first word. You can ask for a clue, which is the last letter of the first word. In that case, you will play the hive for 45 points instead of 50. All right, the total time is 90 seconds. I'm sure you all are ready. We'll start with you, Saif. Are you all set? Yes. All the very best, and you can make it this time. Okay, let's start. Saif, the hive is on your screen. The first word starts with a G. The first word means to obtain or win something, especially something that you need or want. The second word means to arrange something in the correct position, especially in a straight line. The third word means friendly and cheerful. The fourth word means colorless and tasteless water-soluble protein prepared from collagen. And the final word means strong tissue in the body that connects bones and supports organs. And your time starts now. Uh, is the first word gain, G-A-I-N? That is correct. Is the second word align, A-L-I-G-N, align? That is also correct, but is you have time. Is the third word genial, G-E-N-I-A-L, genial? That too is correct. Is the fourth word gelatin, G-E-L-A-T-I-N, gelatin? Correct as well. Is the last word ligament, L-I-G-A-M-E-N-T, ligament? Five out of five, that's a nice little tie. That's like a champion. He has still got more than a minute, but he just finished it, completed it. Less than 30 seconds, right? Oh my God, wonderful. Very well played. All right, so now we will start with our next finalist. Are you ready, Aisha? Yes. Good luck. Aisha, the hive is on your screen. And the first word starts with a C. The first word means not showing or feeling nervousness, anger or other emotions. The second word means an animal with a long neck and humps on its back, used in desert countries. The third word means leave a sailing ship unable to move through lack of wind. The fourth word means to climb or move without difficult, with difficulty using both hands and feet. And the final word means cook eggs by beating them with a little liquid and then cooking and stirring them gently and your time starts now. The first word is calm, C-A-L-M. That is correct. The second word is camel, C-A-M-E-L. That is also correct. You've got enough time. The third word means leave a sailing ship unable to move through lack of wind. Just add one letter. You can move on to the fourth or fifth word. How about the fifth word, which means cook eggs by beating them with a li little liquid and then cooking and stirring them gently. Uh, is the last word scramble? Is C E S C R A M B L E scramble. That is correct. Very good. Half a minute to go. You, you can get rid of one word from the fifth word and get the fourth word. The fourth word means to climb or move with difficulty using both hands and feet. Ten seconds to go. 
Make a guess. Make a guess. Uh, is the uh, for the clamber? <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry, time's up. Can we find out the words that she couldn't crack? I said the third word which you didn't get was become. B E C A L M. And the fourth word you got it right, but time was up. The word was clamber. It's spelled C L A M B E R. Clamber. I have to say, very well tried. You got your 30 points from this round. Okay, Wasik, it's your turn. Good luck. Wasik, the hive is on your screen. And the first word starts with a D. The first word means have the courage to do something. The second word means the activity of buying and selling or exchanging services between people or countries. The third word means leave, especially in order to start a journey. The fourth word means a person who legally raises another's child. And the last word means an animal that kills and eats other animals. And your time starts now. Is the first word dare, D-A-R-E? That is correct. Is the third word depart, D-E-P-A-R-T? That is also correct. Is the fourth word adopter, A-D-O-P-T-E-R, adopter? That too is correct. Is the fifth word predator, P-R-E-D-A-T-O-R, predator? Correct as well. The second word means the activity of buying and selling or exchanging services between people or countries. You have got a lot of time, so look at the meanings or try with the words. You can leave out one word from the third, one letter from the third word or add one letter to the first one. Is it trade, T-R-A-D-E, trade? Five out of five, that's also a nice little wow. five. Wow! Wonderful, folks. Wonderful. Very well done. So here you got your 50 points from this round, Wasik. Moving on to Haseen. Shall we start? All the very best. Haseen, the hive is on your screen. And the first word starts with an F. The first word means flames that are out of control and destroy building trees, etc. The second word means a feeling of great sadness, especially when somebody dies. The third word means one of the five long thin words that stick out from the hand. The fourth word means in and from a country that is not your own. And the last word means something that is given to a god as part of a religious worship. And your time starts now. Is the first word fire, F-I-R-E, fire? That is correct. Is the third word finger, F-I-N-G-E-R, finger? That is also correct. You have plenty of time. Is the fourth word foreign, F-O-R-E-I-G-N, foreign? That too is correct. Is the fifth word offering, O-F-F-E-R-I-N-G, offering? Correct as well. You have more than a minute. Take your time. Is the fifth word grief, G-R-E-I-F, grief? Hasid, I'm sorry, the word is right, but you spelled it wrong. Uh-oh. The correct spelling is G-R-I-E-F. You spelled it G-R-E-I-F. You had plenty of time. So take it slow, take a deep breath, you can still come back. But well played. So a round of applause for you. <laughs> Moving on to Orgo. Ready? Yeah. All right. We want to see this. Okay. All, he's always ready. Okay. All right. Good luck with that. Orgo, the hive is on your screen. And the first word starts with a D. The first word means a substance such as mud or dust that soils someone or something. The second word means feeling that you'd like to sleep or rest. The third word means the ability of a customer to obtain goods or services before payment. The fourth word means an explosive used in bullets, bombs, etc. And the final word means a person who is in charge of making film, play, etc. And your time starts now. Is the first word dirt, D-I-R-T? That is correct. The second word tired, T-I-R-E-D? That is also correct. Uh, is the last word director, D-I-R-E-C-T-O-R? That too is correct. More than a minute in your hand. Take your time, look at the meanings carefully. How about the third word, which means the ability of a customer to obtain goods or services before payment. Try with the letters from the second word.
Let's try the fourth one. The fourth word means an explosive. Is the used fourth in one bullet? body it, C O R D I E T. Sorry, which one you're talking about? Fourth one. Spell it again. Spell it again. C O R D I E T. Body it. I'm sorry, that is wrong. Try the third one. Look at the letters from the second word. You can do it. Look at the meaning carefully. Is the third one credit? C R E D I T. That is correct. All right. Let's take a look at the words that he missed. Or the fourth word which you missed was cordite. It's spelled C O R D I D E. Cordite. So that gives you 40 points from this round. Well played, Orgo. All right, now you are in. It's your turn. I believe you are ready to go and score 50 points from this round. Hopefully. I believe you can do it. All the very best. Nayarin, the hive is on your screen. And the first word starts with an E. The first word means the state of being comfortable. The second word means an agreement that allows you to use the premises for some time in return for rent. The third word means in or into a state of rest with eyes closed. The fourth word means the fact of becoming ill or sick again after making an improvement. And the final word means a state of feeling or being happy or satisfied and your time starts now. Is the first word ease, E-A-S-E? -E? That is correct. 10 points. Is the third word asleep, A-S-L-E-E-P? -E that is also correct. Is the fourth word relapse, R-E-L-A-P-S-E? -E? That too is correct. Very good going. How about the second word, which means an agreement that allows you to use a premise for some time. Is the word lease, L-E-A-S-E? -E? Sorry, which one is it? Um, the second word, lease, L-E-A-S-E. -E. That is correct. All right. Just one more left. You have got plenty of time. The final word means a state of feeling or being happy or satisfied. Is it pleasure, P-L-E-A-S-U-R-E, -E, pleasure? That is correct, and that's a nice little tie. Very impressive. So with pleasure, Nayarin, I am announcing you got your 50 points from this round. Brilliantly played, very good. All right, so that brings us to the end of the second round. Viewers, we will give you a chance to a segment here. Top scorer got the Tirishti Porbe Jite Nietzsche, Tirishti School and Library Journal Boy, Ari Boygulu Prodan Karahuete, BSRM Shojane. We would like to thank BSRM for such a wonderful initiative. Can we have a round of applause for them, please? It's time for another short Holics break, but I am so excited. I don't want to take this break because the next round is going to be the decisive round, and we are going to know who is going to be the third season spelling bee champion speller so don't go anywhere we'll be back after this short holics break of the third season of the Daily Star Spelling Bee powered by Horlicks brought to you by Champs21.com in association with BSRM, MetLife Alico and Powercastle. Amra Opik Khairuetsi, our Spelling Bee Season 3 Champion Speller Journal. Our Champion Speller Ke Hote Jatche, Shetai Amra Jante Parvo Kichuk Khonar Mothe after this third and final round. Let's take a quick look at your scores after the second round. Saif at 70 points. Aisha is also at 70 points. Wasik at 80 points. Hussein at 70 points. Orgo at 60 points. And Nayarin at 80 points. Amra dekhte paachi chhojoneri score ato kacha kachi. Anything can happen. Each one of you has a chance to be the champion speller. So 
Take a deep breath. We are about to start our third and final round, which is Spell Buzz. In Spell Buzz, we will give you two clues. The first clue will have the number of letters, the letter with which the word starts, and the meaning of the word. If you press the buzzer after the first clue and give us the correct answer, you can earn easily 10 points. But if you give us the wrong answer, in that case, minus 5. So please be very careful. If you have already answered in the first clue, you can't participate for the second clue. Now, when we give you the second clue and then you press the buzzer and give us a correct answer, again, you can earn 5 points. But if it is wrong, minus 5. So spellers, as I've already mentioned, your scores are very close to each one. So I think you have to take it very seriously as it is a buzzer round. If you're not sure about the word, don't press the buzzer. All right, let's do one thing. Let's take a sip of Horlicks all together. Get set, ready, go, 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 go. We are all set. Can we start? Please concentrate. Spellers, the first buzzword is a seven letter word. It means a form of art in which various materials such as. Okay, we got Wasik. Is it collage? C O L L A G E, collage? That is correct. Whoa, 10 points. Very good. The second buzzword is also a seven letter word and it means to refuse to buy, use or take part in something as a way of protesting. It starts with the... Once again, it's Wasik. Go. Is it boycott? B-O-Y-C-O-T-T, -T, boycott? That is also correct. Mind blowing! The third buzzword is an eight letter word and it means feeling or showing great happiness because of a success. It starts. Okay, we got Orgo. It's uh, joy, joyfulness. I mean, yeah, J O Y F U L N E S S. I'm sorry, it is not correct. Orgo, you lose your five points. All right, you can't take part for the next clue. Rest five of you. Get ready for the second clue. The second clue is on your screen. Okay, Wasik, once again. Is go it for jubilant? J-U-B-I-L-A-N-T, jubilant. That is correct. Five points easily added to your scoreboard. The next buzzword is a ten-letter word, and it means a strong feeling of excitement and interest in something and a desire to become involved in it. It starts with Okay, we got. Now you're in. E N T H U. S I A S M enthusiasm. That is correct. There you go. You have earned your 10 points. Very good. The fifth buzzword is a 10 letter word, and it means the quality of being kind, and it starts with a G. Okay, all right. We can see it's Nayarin who have pressed the buzzer. First, go for it, Nayarin. G E N E R O U S. I'm sorry, that is not correct. Uh oh, Nayarin, you lose your five points, so you can't participate for the second clue. Moving the on second, to the second clue. The second clue is on your screen. Okay, that's five. Generosity, G E N E R O S I T Y, generosity. That is correct. Yeah, you earned your five points. Good. The final buzzword is an eight letter word. It means. The main part of an aircraft in which passengers and goods are carried. Okay, we got Wasik. Is it fuselage? F-U-S-E-L-A-G-E, -E, fuselage. That is correct. Brilliant, Wasik. Ten more points added to your scoreboard and now it's time to find out who is going to take away this gorgeous trophy at home. Get set, ready, go, 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 go. Gorgeous 
একটি স্কুলের প্রিন্সিপালের হাতে বই তুলে দিতে চাই আমি মঞ্চে আমন্ত্রণ জানাতে চাই প্রিপারেটরি স্কুল নারায়ণগঞ্জের সম্মানিত হেডমাস্টার আমাদের সাথে উপস্থিত রয়েছেন জনাব আব্দুল বারি তার হাতে বই তুলে দেওয়ার জন্য আমি অনুরোধ করছি বিএসআরএম এর সিএসআর পিআর অ্যান্ড কমিউনিকেশনের মিস রুহি এম আহমেদকে অ্যান্ড নাও ইটস টাইম টু হ্যান্ড ওভার দ্য ক্রেস টু আওয়ার ফিফথ রানার আপ হু আর্ন ফিফটি ফাইভ পয়েন্টস অ্যান্ড ইট ইস অর্ঘ রয় সাইফ রহমান স্টুডেন্ট অফ রেজেন্ট কলেজ ক্রেস্ট তুলে দেওয়ার জন্য অনুরোধ জানাচ্ছি মেতলাইফ আলিকর হেড অফ কমিউনিকেশন জনাব মনিরুল ইসলামকে এবার দু লাখ টাকার মেতলাইফ আলিকর চেকটি তুলে দেওয়ার জন্য অনুরোধ করছি বিএসআরএম এর রেড সিএসআর অ্যাপিয়ার অ্যান্ড কমিউনিকেশনের মিস রুহি এ মাহমেদকে অ্যান্ড নাও ইট ফার্স্ট রানার আপের স্কোর এইটি ফাইভ অ্যান্ড ইট ইজ নয়ারিন ফরিজা মইন স্টুডেন্ট অফ সানমিনস ঢাকা And now it's time to hand over the 3 lakh tackle worth MetLife Valley Co. check and I'll request Mr. Shaikh Shiraj, Director and Head of News, Channel I to hand over this check to our first runner-up, Nayarin Farisa Moin. And now it's the big moment. Yes indeed, it's time to hand over all the awards to our champion speller of Spelling Bee Season 3. It's none other than Wasik Hassan, student of Mary Curie School, Dhaka. May I please request Mr. Mark Ozana, editor and publisher of the Daily Star, to hand over the gown and the hat. Can we have a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? টিকেট আমাদেরকেই <laughs> চলি <laughs> 